Ahead of Earth Day tomorrow, a focus on farms in Grand Isle today as part of your local weekend. Vermont Senator Peter Welch visited a 100-year-old family farm that's set to receive nearly half a million dollars through a federal program. ABC 22 Sam Israel spoke with current and perhaps future farmers to talk about their visit and to learn about how that money will make a difference. Throughout Vermont's history, farms have played a central role in the state's identity. Now, the investments in the farms continue. This time, the money going towards Savage View Farms in Grand Isle. We want to make some contribution to help in our dairy economy be strong and for our environment to be clean and make it possible for the Burris Farm, Savage Farm, to be going for more generations. And the next how, generation. How do they take it? Here to see it firsthand. I think it's great that they're helping these farms to uh, stay cleaner and you know help the cows because that's where we get a lot of our food in Vermont. It's a pretty big calf. The reason that we probably have farmers is so we can have fresh food and not processed food. So respect the farmers and put love into their farms so then they can put love onto our tables. Sixth grader Landon says his family has owned a farm for close to a hundred years but they face challenges. Actually they have a lot of financial problems like that. If like a farm is not doing great, then the government could give them like a loan. That's where the Rural Energy for America program comes into play. The program funds small farm owners to give them a hand financially. I feel it's real important that uh, there are farms in Vermont and because of the landscape. This farm has been in the hands of the Bulls family since Dwight's grandfather owned the farm in the 1920s. But Dwight says a lot has changed from the 1920s to the 2020s. There's not really any farms around now. I'm the only one in Grand Isle and there used to be probably 10, 15. With building new developments a priority amidst the housing crisis, farm owners want to make sure farmland is also preserved so the next generation can continue to reap the benefits of the outdoor culture in the Green Mountain State. Happy Earth Day! In Grand Isle, Sam Israel, ABC 22 News.